Good afternoon, everybody. My name is... Welcome to my channel. My name is Sam. Welcome to Celestial Bean. I'm here to do a reading for the Divine Feminines and what they can expect. It's a Valentine's special. I know I'm doing it on the Friday, but what can you... What can the Divine Feminines expect from now till about Valentine's Day? Uh, so we're going to... Go into the recent past for the Divine Feminines. First card, please, Spirit. What can the Divine Feminines expect? Hierophant tradition. Okay, you are... Uh, you're a very powerful person, actually, Divine Feminine. People look up to you. That's what I'm seeing. People people look up to you. Uh, and because of your spiritualness... People follow you because of your spiritualness, Divine Feminine. Uh, what's the higher front, please, Divine uh, Heavenly Angel, Spirit Guards and Ancestors? What is the higher front? Give me a card for that. Okay, okay, I'll take it, I'll take it. It's the Devil in Reverse again. So, Divine Feminine, you have given up being tied um, to anyone. You've given up being tied to anyone. Um, devil can't get you. Because also I'm looking like... Because the Hierophant is also kind of like a God card as well. He, the Hierophant is the highest of the high. And he has beaten the devil. The devil is in reverse. The devil cannot fucking touch you. Nothing evil will prosper. Nothing can touch you. Nothing can touch you. Just as long as you stay on that light side. Nothing can touch you. Okay... these two fell out and it's almost like yeah the high the, the the emperor has is probably going to come back in again but you you don't seem happy with it that what i'm actually getting is that the sorry the emperor is going to try and come back in again and is offering you his cup this time but you're like what the fuck how long has it been what the fuck <laughs> Let's see. Yeah, I'm right. Look, Sh uh, shit, you not. You are coming back. Yeah, um, the emperor is going to be coming back in, offering you an apology. Okay, that was at the bottom of the deck. Please give me. Uh, it's too many. Too many. What is the devil? Please, heavenly angel, spirit, guys, and ancestors, tell me what the devil is. And it's. The devil is also a Capricorn card. So, but like I'm telling you, God has been ah watching. It's not going to let it happen. The one that's turned over is to go on the bottom of this. That's what I've just heard. Ah, okay. No more juggling. So God has stepped in, slapped the devil back down to earth because of all the juggling, upheavals, the rocky waters, or whatever. God's like that. Ah, no, no, no. No, no, no. That's my girl. Um, these three cards here, for the love, laugh, and emotional links, I believe, but we'll still keep it in the recent past, is that it's become enlightened about the apology coming in from the, you know, he's going to come in and apologise. You, <laughs> Because you're so intuitive, you know that the um, your emperor is going to come in and apologise. Whether you accept it or not is entirely up to you. You can accept the apology, you don't have to get back with him. But you can accept him, now, now you can go on, on your way. Get on your way! Okay, so what's the love, laugh and emotional links for the Divine Feminine, please? The love, laugh and emotional links for the Divine Feminine. What are the love, laugh, and emotional links for the divine feminine? Spirit, please tell me. What are the love, laugh, and emotional links for the... Ah! That's a whole chunk that turned over. So we've got the Ten of Pentacles. Look at this. Ooh! That's about half the deck. I can't take all of those, I'm afraid. Ten of Pentacles. So 
it's like you know you've got generational wealth i'm hearing you got you 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 hold generational wealth you've, you've probably got a load of money coming in somewhere over ten thousand somewhere over ten thousand that's all i can say i'm not really hearing much else on that but you have got generational wealth coming in with your love life and emotional links hmm. okay you've got over ten grand coming in okay uh, another card for the I've just seen it flip oh did you hear that song I'm quite sure you're the one I desire don't be such a liar. I want you. Ooh, tune. Anyway, <laughs> what else is in? Mmm, tune. I'm not gonna have to listen to this again later. Um, what is the Ten of Pentacles, please, Spirit? Heavenly Angel, Spirit, guys, and ancestors. Please give me a card for the Ten of Pentacles and the love, life, and emotional links. Woo. You will have victory. You will have victory over an ending because of the truth. You will have victory over a transformation because of the truth. You will have generation. You've got generational wealth, or you will have general. You've got at least over ten thousand coming in because it is the number 10 and you will have victory and a transformation for being your authentic self you are the truth okay that's what i was being told what is the unexpected or unknown for the divine feminine please unexpected or unknown for the divine feminine spirit what is the unexpected or unknown Ooh. Yet again, we've got another cut. We've got the Nine of Swords. I mean, sorry, not the Nine of Swords, the Nine of Pentacles, which is a single, abundant woman. She's got a falcon on her arm, and, you know, she's happy there. She's got still generational wealth that you've made for yourself, and you're quite happy. What's going to please the unexpected or unknown? What else can the Divine Feminine expect? Ah, we're a missed opportunity because this came in upside down, upside down. You are not interested. You've poured out all the love from that cup. You are not interested in what somebody's selling. You don't want it. You don't want it. Okay. What else is the unexpected or unknown? Unexpected or unknown for the Divine Feminine. Unexpected or unknown for the Divine Feminine. One more card, please, for that. Divine Spirit, Heavenly Spirit, God, Ancestors. The Lovers. There's... It's no longer a decision. It's been made because of the lies. It's at the bottom of the deck. The decision has been made because of the lies. You're cutting him out. You're like, ah, boy, bye. Boy, bye. We're going, moving on to the outcome. I've got two cards already. Uh, so you've got a Capricorn or a Pentacle, a Taurus, Virgo or an Aries coming in to offer you some love. And one more card. Oh, it is somebody from your past. I won't take that pile there. It is somebody you know from your past. Okay, and the Wheel of Fortune is going to turn in your favour, baby. <laughs> You've got uh, some good, and that is your good karma. What? I'm going to take these little ones here, and I'm going to ask. I did it a lot earlier in the um, masculines, but I'm doing it now in the feminines. Who, what sign is the karmic for the divine feminine? <laughs> right in my heart space, did you see that? Okay. 
Pisces and karmic female. So there's a karmic female, maybe a Pisces, that's uh, got it in for you. Or she's got Pisces on the chart somewhere. Who is the... Uh, any other signs who may be the karmic for the Divine Feminine? And who is the, we'll skip that, tippy tippy tap tap. So who is the um, actual divine masculine for the divine feminine? Who is the divine masculine for the divine feminine? You've got Gemini or Gemini in the chart somewhere. Knights of Rages Knights of Rages Anything else? Any other? And a Cancer, maybe? And uh, maybe an Aquarius? that's the uh reading for the divine feminine i bid you a very good day i do ask that you if you enjoyed my reading um or it resonated with you i i ask you to come back have another reading whether you want to su subscribe or not is entirely up to you i'm gonna say subscribe press the bell it's entirely up to you it's entirely up to you free will i love free will and now with that those words i will bid you farewell divine feminines fare thee well <laughs>